Hello YouTube, this is my second video I've ever made. I'm glad if you're still here and you're watching. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Alien set. Like Lego Alien Invasion I think it is, I'm not sure. But I will be reviewing it, so we're gonna start off with the minifigs. So I get the gun on the ceiling. Alright, so pull this down. Yeah. These are the minifigs. So we'll start off with the alien. I kinda like his head, looks pretty nice. And he has a lot of detail. But he comes with this blaster with one of those rare uh, see-through purple studs, which are kind of rare. And he's got some detailing on the front, like some scales. He's got some on the back. And then here is his headpiece, which I thought was kind of cool. Here's the back of it. So that's the alien. Next we'll be doing the, I'm just going to call them a space unit. Not really sure what their names are, but got the sex I thought looked cool and it was kind of cheap. It was only $11. So this is his blaster, which I put on the wrong way the very first time I um, put together this figure, but say it made him face the wrong way, so that's the blaster. Then he has this little jetpack that I'll pull off to show you. <coughs> Oops. Sorry about that. Alright, so. There's his jetpack, he has these thrusters that look or what that would make really good pistols, but they're used to be thrusters, I guess. And it's got one of those little rare pieces that like are usually meant to be used for wings or jetpacks. It's got this little white lever. Yeah. Here is the quote space unit without his jetpack and his plaster and he has a ton of detailing like the head's really cool here's the head real quick so it's kind of blurry it's got a tube in the back kinda so there's his awesome looking head. <coughs> Next is his body. Mm. Here's his back. And again, I will get better in the future, but right now, this is my second video I've ever made, so. And then here's where he looks like with his blaster. It's kind of big. And here's where he looks like with his blaster and his jetpack. Go. Looks really cool. And then, last but not least, we have the alien ship, which is really easy to put together, like, extremely easy. So there's the ship, and it's got these, I think they're like jaws or something, they can spin around front, and they can also be adjusted like this. I like to keep them like this though. Makes it more look like he's about to eat something. And he's got these 
cool looking wings in the back. I think these are rare, kinda. Like a rare Lego. Can't see it well because I have my window open. <coughs> and then here's the bottom of it. Not really much, but there's these cool little legs that I thought were probably like the best part about the set. Really makes it look like that it's a true bug, kinda. But I really thought they'd use like the claws that they use for the Sarlacc on the Lego Star Wars Jabba set, but yeah, so those are the legs, and you can also pose it to like any kind of way you want, like like that. Pretty nice. I'll give you a second or two to look at it. Let's rotate it around. It's probably the main part of the set that you might want to see. It's really cool. And then here's the front of it, real quick. And here's what it looks like. With the lid popped open. Looks kind of comfortable, but, you know, not too good. It's got this cool little sticker there. Like a banshee from Halo, kind of. So, looks more like a wreath. Yeah, a wreath. And that's basically all for the inside. And... <coughs> Here's the engine with another purple stud. Kind of cool, kind of cool. So yeah, that's it for this review. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and I will see you later.